They take them out in the morning to the stone courtyard and put them against the wall. Five men, two of them very young, the others middle-aged. Nothing more can be said about them. When the platoon level their guns, everything suddenly appears in the garish light of obviousness. The yellow wall, the cold blue, the black wire on the wall instead of a horizon. That is the moment when the five senses rebel. They would gladly escape like rats from a sinking ship. Before the bullet reaches its destination, the eye will perceive the flight of the projectile. The ear record the steely rustle. The nostrils will be filled with biting smoke. A petal of blood will brush the palate. The touch will shrink and slacken. Now they lie on the ground, covered up to their eyes with shadow. The platoon walks away. Their button straps and steel helmets are more alive than those lying beside the wall. I did not learn this today. I knew it before yesterday. So why have I been writing unimportant poems on flowers? What did the five talk of the night before the execution? Of prophetic dreams? Of an escapade in a brothel? Of automobile parts? Of a sea voyage? Of how, when he had spades, he ought not to have opened? Of how vodka is best, after wine you get a headache? Of girls, of fruits, of life. Thus one can use in poetry names of Greek shepherds. One can attempt to catch the color of morning sky. Right of love, and also, once again, in dead earnest, offer to the betrayed world a rose.